Hi there, students. Poco curanti. Poco curanti. This is both an adjective and a noun. So, as an adjective, it's I couldn't care less. Yeah, it's not relevant. I'm totally indifferent about it. Okay, so a very poco curanti attitude. Apathetic. It's not relevant to me. Yeah, I don't I don't care one way or the other. Yeah, so you're just indifferent. You're not interested. You're totally nonchalant about it. And you can also use it as a noun. A poco curanti. Somebody who doesn't give a flying... Okay, they're apathetic about things. They, they just don't care. And I guess poco curantism. This is the noun of the quality. Um, so maybe there is a lot of poco curantism uh, within uh, some, some of the uh, most recent generations. Yeah, so poco curanti. This is somebody who really doesn't care. They're just totally indifferent about a situation. Yeah, so I've had absolutely enough of your poco curanti uh, attitude to life. Yeah, um, you really don't care. You just haven't got the energy to think about it because you're just not interested in it in the slightest bit. Yeah, um, yeah, you, it, it's just not not relevant to you. Yeah, you don't care one way or the other. Okay, so poco curanti. Um, let's see. To me, this is really quite a formal word. I think I'm going to give it something like 7.5 in formality. I think you might find a lot of native speakers um, don't know this word. Yeah, but poco curanti, it just means you couldn't care less. You're just not interested. Yeah, you have absolutely no motivation one way or the other. Yeah, I really don't care one way, way or the other. I'm very poco curanti about what you do in this situation because it just doesn't affect me. It's absolutely no skin off my nose. So that's why my poco curanti attitude. Okay, so quite a formal word so you're gonna have to use this in a semi-formal writing or a formal writing something literary I think it would sound great in an essay as well yeah but this is a more unusual word okay so be be, be careful where you use it if you use it you may well have to explain its meaning to the native speaker who you've just you've just used it used it in front of okay so yeah he's a uh, very poco curanti about money he doesn't care less he spends the money he's got and then waits till he's got some more yeah um I think this uh, is th this phrase is probably particularly used um, in literary criticism or in literature. Yeah, so um, you've you've got to be careful it, um, where you use it. I mean, speaking a semi-formal conversation, it's going to sound a bit weird. Yeah, um, I think probably just use it in in your writing. Okay, then as to origin, this comes from uh, Italian through through French, from poco, little, not much, and curante, caring. Yeah, so somebody who cares little about something. Yeah, they they just they're just not interested in it. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Poco Curanti.